All right, so we're back now with part two. I am sorry, this is gonna be kind of long-winded. I've been excited about getting my own dog since I was a child. <laughs> um, I grew up with dogs, I've always had dogs. I love, just, I love all my pets. They're all like my kids. And the reason I was drawn to guinea pigs so much is because they always reminded me of little dogs where they're happy to see you. And the fact that, you know, we can share our home with our guinea pigs and our, our now, now our dog. I'm so, this is literally like a dream come true. Um, I actually cried today when I found out he was born. I literally started crying. So, um, yeah, so he's coming home. You'll see him in about two months. Um, so I thought I would share with you the process that we did for prepping for the puppy. We went a little overboard, um, but I mean, you guys have seen my, our pigs, right? Like there's go big or don't go. Um, there's a couple things that we're still missing. Uh, we're waiting for the pet expo for a few things, um, which don't forget to come by the Piggles slash Zoe and Leo's toy booth or toy box booth. Cause we're going to be there. I'm just going to keep mentioning that in whatever video I make until this comes, until it's time. Um, so puppy prep. First thing I got was the puppy Bible because while I know a bunch about dogs, about having dogs, about taking dogs to vets, because you know, we have my family dog, I haven't had a puppy in like 13 years. And when we got Matt, he was six months old. So I've never had a newborn puppy to look after. This book, I've read, I think three puppy books now. This one, I love it. So if you're looking about getting a dog, don't get puppies for dummies. It was friggin' daft. Um, it, I found it useless. Unless you've never ever had a dog, then I don't know. Maybe it was useful, but like I just found it. Meh. This one, I absolutely loved it. And then the other book that I really enjoyed that, you know, this all depends. I'm not starting a dog food debate. Um, I got the Healthy Hound Cookbook just for some treat, like for treats and small pieces of meals, because we are feeding our dog raw. Um, we're going to be, you know, throwing in, uh, yogurt at times, um, eggs, the odd veg, like pureed vegetable and the odd carb. But for the most part, he's going to be fed raw, I'm not starting a debate about kibble versus raw, whatever you, what you do for your dog is your call. That's what we're doing. <laughs> um, so if any of you guys have dog, like, as dog owners ha have any suggestions about raw food, throw them in the comments. Cause I love learning. I'm a sponge. But those, are, I love these two books. They've been wonderful. All right, we'll start with the boring stuff before we get to the fun toys. Okay, so the first thing that we had to settle on, um, we have to get three crates for this guy because they grow like weeds. Um, divided crates can end up very dangerously for a dog that's very large and also very determined. Um, so we're going with three sizes. So the first, this is his in, uh, intermediate one. I had, I just, we just picked it up. That's why it's set up and I didn't feel like dragging the smaller one out. So his first stage is 36 inches by 24. This one is, or by 21, this one is 42, which is his intermediate one. Cause he's only in the small one for six weeks. It's 42 inches long and three feet wide. And then his next one will be 52 by 48. I'm just going to let that sink in for a second. Yep. It's going to be a monster. So that's his intermediate crate. It's obviously important. We buy all of our, we bought, we've bought our crates used online just because it's such a ridiculous expense when there's so many available. Now, the next thing we got was uh, several of these. Uh, these are baby gates. I got these ones cause this one is metal. Um, I liked the way this one looked to be set up. I want something with an easy open uh, and lo good lock as well as something that is sturdy that he's not just going to knock over like a piece of paper. So we got a cup, a, a few of these guys just for various areas, one obviously being the pet room. Um, but it's these are like the boring expenses that you don't really think about. But if you go to like baby stores like Babies R Us, you can get them like we got ours on sale. It was great. Um, made them really affordable. The next thing I'll stand up so... I don't know if this is gonna, but this is his puppy bed. We're getting his adult one from LL Bean, but we have to, we're getting it from the U.S. Um, so we're waiting until he's a little older, uh, just because the, his breeder said those are the only ones that are really Leo proof. Um, but this one is 48 by 36, so it's four feet by three feet. That's his first bed. Um, then we got his dirty paws doormat. We lucked out and got this for 50% off. 
Um, again, with it's the same as with anything, right? Small pets, if you're prepping for something, prep with enough time that you can watch for sales because these things are regular like $45, which is ridiculous. Um, but we got it for 50% off, so it made it, you know, made it worth it. The next slightly more boring part that you have to worry about is, uh, is dishes. Let me get them out. Okay, so dishes are the part, um, or kind of, can be kind of tricky. These are his puppy dishes. Uh, to give you an idea, there's my foot. Um, he's gonna need an elevated feeding station for his food when he's older because he's a giant breed. Um, that's another thing when you're doing puppy prep, don't just because it says puppy, don't just assume it's gonna work. Make sure you know how big your dog's gonna be because um, it makes things a lot more complicated. <laughs> uh, we just have his toy burgers because they're called baby burgers, so we had to run with that. Um, but the thing with any kind of dog that, that's fond of water, um, Leos have webbed feet, so they like to play in their water dishes. So we have to get, we've got a water mat and everything set up because they just, their water dishes, toilets, whatever, become, become play zones. Um, I've just accepted it, it's okay. Uh, so those are the dishes. I'll take you over the next, we'll go boring to exciting, how's that? Okay, so here are the grooming and dental stuff. It's not that exciting, we had to get a undercoat rake, which is right here, uh, a slicker brush, we got one for sensitive skin, because who knows, and then a coarse comb. Um, he's got a double undercoat, or he's got a double coat, so that's just, th those. you have to know your dog's coat. Uh, the next thing we got was just toothbrushes, not exciting. Uh, over here are his, col his puppy collar, his adult collar, and his leash. That's the print, can you see it? It's a deer with plaid, I thought it was perfect. Uh, this dog collar is ridiculous. It's 24 inches around. I'm a little intimidated. Okay, so now we'll go over to... We'll do the interactive toys. So over here, we have a variety of different interactive-based toys. So these are for any age group. Some of these he's not going to need until he's bigger. That's why we got jumbo-sized and smaller size of certain things. Um, we have various rope toys. Uh, balls. This is like a giant tennis ball. Uh, a bunch of Kong stuff because they make things bigger. This tire I'm really excited about. We of course have the Kongs. Uh, we have aquatic toys because he's such a big, they're, they're such big fans of water. Um, and we've got, everything we've bought has, is like supposed to be super durable. Um, if you're getting a giant breed or you've got some, a breed that's typically a very, like can be very destructive, um, check out blogs and whatnot of people who have these types of dogs because they have product recommendations. That's what I did. And I feel really confident about what we got, especially stuff by JW, Kong, and yeah, JW and Kong are like the tough stuff. And then the rest, like we have stuff like this koala is going to last like 30 seconds, but it was a cheap little add-on on Amazon. That's another really awesome thing if you're buying stuff online. Amazon has add-ons that like cut prices like ridiculous. So if you're getting like, you know, whatever, you can throw that in for like three bucks and it's not a big deal if he ruins it. Um, that's why we have a variety of like ropes and whatnot. These are for like, this is the destruction zone. <laughs> Speaking of destruction, let's go over his teething toys. Now, a lot of th folks are gonna think that we went a little nuts with how much we got for teething or for how much we toys we got, and that's fine. I'd rather buy a lot of toys than buy a new couch. So we have this bear, which has a water bottle in it. And we're gonna freeze it with water in it to like give it to him for teething. We have the puppy Kong as well as like just the regular Kong, um, just because it's supposed the rubber supposed to be better for teething. We are looking for the uh, the puppy the teething stick. It's really hard to find. Uh, here. My friend got him a teething pretzel. <laughs> Deanna is very, very excited about this dog. Just a teething, a teething bone here. Nothing fancy. We got this stuff and a bunch of his other teething toys. We actually found them at Winners and Home Sense for like super cheap. And it was like, cause like, it's just gonna get wrecked. So then we got uh, this teething ring. Again, Home Sense. Teething stick. Pretty much everything else mostly came from Pet Value with the odd thing from PetSmart and Ren's Pet Depot. We'll go over that in a sec. 
This is the Kong Genius. Um, this is for when he's older because it's the extra large, but I thought it'd be a good th We got it on sale like for 50% off. So I was like, yep, we'll put that away. Uh, then we got, again, this guy was on sale. It's a Kong, just a Kong like play toy that floats because we we're going to have a puppy pool in our backyard for him. Again, floating Kong stick. This is like a weird like crunchy bone thing. It clicks. I like it. <laughs> JW spiky thing. A good, all these spikes are really good for their teeth. I have a dog, like my, like Matt, has horrible teeth. Um, so I want to try to avoid anything like that. And then we have this thing here. It's by Kong. You can turn the squeaker off. So it was like on Amazon. Again, this was an add-on and it was like regular. You can see them in pet stores for like $16.99. I got it for six bucks. Yeah. I got two, this one and like the dumbbell looking one for like six bucks each. It was great. This was just a Christmas clearance item at Pet Value, so we'll put that away for Christmas. Large Kong, because you can throw like frozen, like you can freeze it again for teething. And then we just have various sized spiky teething balls. Very excited about those. I pretty much just pick those up whenever I see them. Okay, so if you're still with me, I'll just do a quick overview of these stuffed animals, then we'll go over the ones on the table, which are the ones that I'm kind of like most excited about. Um, we have a huge inchworm for him, just because it's cute and it's got a rattle in it. A giant octopus from our best friend D, because it's got a rattle in it. <laughs> um, we have a bunch of the Go Dog toys, which I love. They make those little really cute empty stuffed dragons. Alligators, all sorts of really awesome things. Um, I've got a shrimp coming in the mail, I think, but really awesome. Love the, like, love that brand. My dog actually had, it's like one of his only toys he's ever had. Um, got an alligator, a Kong little pink elephant, just a random duck. He has a lot of ducks. It's like going to be my thing. I don't know. Another inchworm, go dog stuff, some Martha Stewart stuff, because it's Martha Stewart and I just, they're cute. Uh, Kong whale from uh, D as well. She got him some shreddy uh, stuffed animals. And then this guy here, the squeaker's silent for us. I feel like I'm going to enjoy that a lot. And then up here, we have the table of like precious. So not all of these are going to be given to him at once, obviously. Um, basically, we were at Pet Value and they were doing a huge clearance. <laughs> and so we got like all these for 50% off. I was excited. Um, so this here is the Kong, the extra large Wubba, um, the Snugga Wubba. So this is just like an interactive but soft play toy for him. This is by a brand called Tuffy. They make, it's got like suit, almost like seat belt around the outside. It's supposed to be really tough. We'll see. But he was 75% off. So I got him. <laughs> These are the Huggle Hound, um, tough wrecks or something like that they're like supposed to be really tough uh, squeaky toys so we got them in various sizes again 50% off can't really argue this um, is I had to mention this this is from uh, Deanna as well she is getting her nephew sea creature themed which I love so we'll go with that and then this other brand back here is what's called Huggle Hound same brand that makes these um, Ever since I worked back when back in the day when I worked at Pet Value, these this brand kind of came out um, to our like to stores in our area, and ever since I've been like obsessed. So my dog at home doesn't play with toys, never has, never will. He has like one toy he's had for 13 years, and that's all he wants. So I was never really able to get him anything. <laughs> well, that excitement kind of came out in a jiffy. In a jiffy, so we got. We have the Jumbo Dragons and the Jumbo Moose. So these will be for when he's bigger because they are like, they're very large, which I love. I love it. And we were able to get them for $17.50 each when they're rather regular 40. So I was pretty pumped about that. Then we've got the regular, regular large size. We've got the Moose, Raccoon, Crazy Weird Elephant, Christmas Moose, Hedgehog, and they're all really cute. And then we've got this random guy that's new to Pet Values. So if, you, if you're in Canada, Pet Values is starting to really up their dog game. And he's got pull arms. And he just looks like a log. So I mean, how cute is that, right? So I hope that wasn't too long. I could have gone on longer. But anyways, at five weeks, we're going to meet him. So there will be a vlog. 
Um, but yeah, so that's us prep. This has been our puppy prep. I'm sure I've forgotten a lot. I'm just really excited. Today's been a really big day. Um, but this is what we've done to prepare for our puppy. Um, if you have, you know, any sites, any blogs, anything you think I should read or anything that you think I should pick up if you've got a heavy chewer, let me know because I'm always curious if you've got a giant breed. Share your stories in the comments. Um, this is going to be a whole new journey and I'm really excited to have you to take you guys along with me. All right, everyone. I will see you real soon with a small pet video. Take care.